Hello, my name is Darren Ishimina. I'm a software test engineer with Tab Products. Today I'm going to provide a short demonstration on how to print color-coded labels using Tab Quick. This video is intended to be a basic user guide. Tab Quick was specifically designed to be simple and easy to use, so this should only take about five minutes of your time. To begin, if you have not yet opened a new account, simply go to the Tab Quick homepage and select the sign up link at the top of the page. Fill in the required information and then select the send button. A new account will be open for you and you will receive an email from Tab like this one. The email will contain information such as, such as system requirement, your username and password, and how to contact Tab for questions or comments. Your username will always be your email address. This will ensure that usernames are unique and easy to remember. Right below, you'll find your password. You can open Tab Quick from the link included in the email. If you should forget your password, simply select the link below the sign-in box. Now we will enter our username and password. Then select the sign-in button. Before you can print labels, you will need to install the Tab Quick labeling control. This is a one-time requirement. Select the highlighted blue link here. After a moment, you will see a browser dialog asking you to confirm this action. Please select Run. You will then see the Tab Quick labeling installation dialog This may take a few moments to complete depending on the speed of your internet connection. When it is finished, please select the close button. On the web page, you will then need to select the installation is complete link highlighted in blue. Your browser will now ask for your approval to run the tab quick control. Please select allow. You have now completed the installation of the web control. The installation is a one-time action only. Going forward, every time you sign in, the first screen you will see will be this, the Select Label screen. The Select Label screen will contain all label designs assigned to your account. All of your labels will appear in the Label Library under the My Labels section. Under the Sample section, there are additional labels which are available for viewing. These are divided by industry-specific categories. The sample designs are examples of different designs that can be added to your li li label library. If you wish to add any of these sample designs to your label library, just contact a TAB representative. Some accounts may only have one label design in their library while others may have many. You can rename the label designs for easier identification by typing in the box below. When ready, select the design you want to print labels with. You can either select the Enter Data tab or double click on the design. This is the Enter Data window. This will include a data grid and a label preview area. Users will ha also have other options such as adjusting the color palette or importing data. From this display, users can enter their label data by typing in the data grid. As the user enters data and moves to the next column, the information will appear in the label preview. This is a preview of the label that will, will be printed.
The user can continue to enter data for multiple labels. As the user shifts from row to row, the label preview will update. Next, we will select labels for printing. In the far left column, select a row or multiple rows. A printer icon will display on each row selected for printing. At the bottom, users can select the print all box and all rows will be selected. Unselecting the checkbox will remove all selected rows. We will leave enabled choosing to print all rows. We are now ready to proceed to the third and last tab, the print preview tab. Here, the user can change their label stock, select their starting label, and align their label. In the right-hand pane, you will view a single-page preview of your label printout. For now, we will change the printer type and the label stock. To 6321HA. Then select the Load Suggested Settings button. You will see a confirmation dialog. Please select Yes. In the preview, you will see the number of labels change. This will also change under Count for labels per page. When aligning your label, for most printers, the, off, the offsets should be close to zero. However, this will vary between printer manufacturers and models. We advise for the first few times you print your labels to a regular 8.5 by 11 piece of paper while fine-tuning your alignment settings. Once ready, click the Print Labels button above the Label Stock Preview. A print dialog will appear. Select the Print button. Now go to your physical printer and review your printed labels. If any issues occurred, say you accidentally printed on plain paper instead of label stock, and you wish to reprint your labels, on the Print Approval dialog, select the No button make any necessary adjustments, and then the Print Labels button again. If the labels look good, select Yes, and you're done. You could return to any of the previous tabs to select a new label design, enter data to continue printing more labels, or exit the application. As you can see, printing labels with Tab Quick is a 1, 2, 3 process that is simple and easy to use. Should you require assistance, feel free to contact Tab Support at any time. Thank you.